Hello again. So um, my Twitter contact, K Da Vinci, the rising rap star, he'd um, he'd given me an idea about uh, a topic for discussion, uh, which is very interesting to me anyway, and for anyone in the filmmaking scene. Um, so his idea was um, how to get known in America when you're a British director or actor. So I'm just going to give you my perspective and tell you about the difficulty of being heard and, you know, showcasing your film when you're making things which are, you know, very low budget and don't have, uh, you, you know, they, they don't have a, a wide release or a cinema release. So um, there was also an article about um, how Amazon had, you know, screwed over a lot of uh, indie filmmakers that had made, you know, a lot of people really enjoyed watching uh, independent filmmakers on Amazon. And it was earlier last year, I think it was about January 2019. And um, basically, people had had a hope for the future of, you know, very low budget indie cinema because, you know, this huge company, Amazon, were giving them a space to showcase their work. And, you know, my, my viewing figures were going up, um, my earnings were increasing for a time, and I was thinking, wow, this is, this is great. Um, I'll be able to, you know, earn back what I've uh, made for my films and then, you know, make some more. And, um, you know, th theoretically, it could be a, a wage earner for me. Um, so what they did they recently uh, this this is in, in 2019 they'd done this mysterious purge so they'd removed you know thousands of films and um you know dozens if not you know hundreds of filmmakers besides you know mine i had a couple of films on there parallel uh sandow and this other movie weird loop um they are, you know, they're not Hollywood films or anything like that, but um, getting rid of these, it, it makes, um, to me, it, it, it doesn't make any sense because, you know, people want to watch different kind of things. So, you know, if, if they're watching something for free on there, they don't have to continue watching it. If it's not their thing, they don't need to, to keep going with it. But it just gives them a lot less choice now, and they're just going for the mainstream things, which, you know, quite a lot of people... They, they really don't like because quite a lot of the mainstream films, they're not actually doing anything different. They're just rehashing, you know, old, um, old materials um, and even, you know, remaking films that were successful. Um, but they're not actually, you know, breaking any different ground. Um, so, you know, that that was probably the main example of the difficulty being heard because you're, you're putting it out there. And then, you know, people are, are pulling it down or they're putting up more barriers to being seen. Um, but if you are still determined that you're going to make, you know, your own film art, um, don't let that put, it, put you off. Uh, create, create it yourself. Create it, you know, uh, very cheaply. Um, get value for your productions. And then you've, you've got a number of different options. You could put it on YouTube here. Obviously, the the um, levels uh, to to actually monetize your videos on YouTube is quite high. So you need at least a, a thousand subscribers, and you need at least four thousand hours viewed in the last year um, before you can earn anything from your films. So you know you may not earn anything from putting your film on YouTube. On the other hand, you may grow an audience, and you may. Uh, you never know who you're going to meet as well on your journey. You may uh, put your film out there and it may be seen by someone and they, you know, they may like what you do. They may want to um, collaborate with you in future. So creating your films, uh, sharing your films on YouTube, um, obviously, um, creating YouTube videos to inform your audience about various topics. That's what I've been doing. Um, 
use Twitter. Twitter's a great resource. I've met various people on there. Uh, as I say, this rapper who uh, I've been chatting to today, um, K Da Vinci Yo, and um, I met the writer of you know various films that he wrote. He wrote Rocky Five, so Jake Thomason wrote Rocky Five. I met him on on Twitter as well. We're sort of regularly um building each other up and you know sharing each other's links um another way so collaboration with american artists and co-promotion of each other so uh, the example i just have given you again of k da vinci so you know i'm, I'm promoting him and his music uh you can try uh, entering your films into some film festivals um you may have some mileage there um my film's been in various u.s film festivals um newark film festival was one um, but i haven't traveled to the states with with the films yet um but you know give it a go there's sites like film freeway uh some of these festivals are free to enter and some of them obviously will charge uh, entry fees um so you know be careful because you can get scammed there are some really unscrupulous operators out there who are just you know obviously looking for your money and um you're you're not you just just do, do your background research before you spend any money on film festivals um there are genuine ones but but just be careful um do your due diligence before uh, handing out any of your your money to people um and that's really it that i can think of for now um bit by bit you know word of mouth comes around you may have little articles written about you that you can share around um but ultimately if you create part of part of the journey is just making the creation anyway so just because you know your your film didn't go in the cinema and you know earn a fortune um for you that may have it may have been your goal like your your life dream may have been just to create create that film so you know i've done that several times now um and you know even though i haven't had that commercial exposure um really that in itself for me has been the fulfillment of an actual you know the actualization the self actualization of actually the success of of making your project from start to finish um it, there are you know it's it is disappointing you you do um want to earn from what you've created and sell it um so you know some people use vimeo so they're able to or they or they have it on their own websites and you can obviously try and charge uh, an entrance fee for that um but obviously if you're not known you may have issues of you know actually getting people to buy your movie and for it to make sort of economic sense to pay vimeo you know a couple of hundred pounds a year or something uh not it won't make sense for everyone to, to go down that route. And then you've got all that, that sort of marketing expense, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but you know, each person has their, their own goals. They want to achieve some people, you know, they have to get it into the cinema. Um, whereas for me, you know, at the moment I want to get it, you know, viewed by a wider audience and, you know, YouTube has been very good for this. So, that's that's really it i think for now but you know shoot shoot me some comments below if there, if you have any specific questions about you know making a film or getting known in the us more or things like that um you know sh give me a comment and i'll do my best to answer that uh please like share subscribe if you like this kind of uh, information and I will see you in the next video. Have a good day. Bye.